Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, today we got a laptop we got to work on here. This is an HP Touch Smart. We're going to get this open. That's a touchscreen HP. Uh, it's got a uh, Turion X2. I believe it's a 2.2 gigahertz Turion in here. Uh, onboard Radeon. Uh, this came with Windows Vista and it last had Windows 7 loaded on it. Um, let's see, it's got a neat feature which apparently doesn't work anymore. You can turn your screen all the way around and turn into a tablet and it would uh, orient itself you know when you turn it uh, it would switch orientation or you could switch orientation with I believe it was this button right there and it had a a pen with it that is no longer around but anyways the uh, yeah this latch right here this would latch down as well so you have to push a button to latch it again but uh, I had a girl that had this um, only uses it now for open office so uh, the touchpad doesn't work anymore. She said the touch screen was getting really buggy and it wouldn't orient no more. And uh, yeah, so she doesn't want Windows 7 on it anymore either. But this is going to be a bit of a, a challenge to put Windows 10 on here. I think, we, especially with that Turion, uh, that's going to be that's going to be an issue with Windows 10. Uh, this thing also has Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got an extended battery in it, which uh, she says bat extended battery is still good. So that's kind of neat but um anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the hard drive with another uh, silicon power SSD uh, this is a 256 gigabyte one and these I use these a lot because I mean they're they're they're, they're nice little uh, SSDs for upgrading and they're dirt cheap they're always on sale I get them you know anywhere from $29.99 to $31.99 um, so this one I think it was on sale. It was like thirty three ninety nine. But I'll leave a link down below for these. Uh, these are great to pick up for a, a cheap SSD for an upgrade for something older like this. As a matter of fact, I even use. I've got it running right in here. In this, uh, uh, this is the XP Beast, the uh, Inspiron five thirty one, and uh, it hasn't ran XP yet though. It's had uh, Linux and Windows ten. And speaking of Linux, I think that's what we're going to install on this one for. Since uh, she says she mainly needs it for Open Office, so. Without further ado, let me get some. I got a couple tools here. Let me get the rest of my tools together and we'll get started. All right, I think we're all ready to go here. And there's a nice little cover here that covers up the hard drive. Easily removable, easily if you have fingernails. All right, and you can see the hard drive tucked. Nice and neat in there. And it's got one of those uh, hokey little adapters on it. You can see it's just got little fingers on there. And it just pops on like that. I don't know why they didn't just have a regular SATA adapter on there. But if they just made that a 90 degree with a SATA connector, you wouldn't need this hokey little thing. And you don't know how many times I used to pick these things up used and uh, this part would be missing. It used to piss me off. But anyway, we'll get that old slow hard drive out of there. We'll open up this SSD. And look, it's even got a golden ticket on it. This is actually a bunch of shit right here because you got to scan this QR code on here and then when you scan that, it takes you to a website and it tells you you know, you, you to win a, a Nintendo Switch, you actually have to Go to their Facebook page, like their Facebook page, share their Facebook page, uh, put a review of the product on their Facebook page, and then you you'll be under for a chance a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, it's a bunch of fucking hassle. I mean, unless you have you buy one of these and you really want a Nintendo Switch, it's a lot of work to go through. All right, so we'll open up that. Uh, Blister pack there and get our SSD installed. Alright, so that's all there is to that. It just pops on there. And here you just push it down. I mean, it's not the greatest connection in the world. And there's a little piece of plastic here that, that keeps it from sliding out. It, it, a hokey little setup, but yeah, I guess it works. I mean, never had a complaint about you know the hard drive popping out, so. And yeah, I know I should have removed the battery. 
Uh, just a slight oversight, but I'm sure everything will be fine. Alright, now the power plugs in on this side. and Alright, so we've got the right flash drive in here now with KDE. Alright, so there we go. We've got uh we've got the uh, Manjaro desktop up and see the touchpad still doesn't work. Does the touch screen work? Ah, touch screen works. Alright, so let's get rid of that. And we want to go through now. This is uh this is Manjaro running on the off the flash drive here, so we want to go through we want to install. Let me double click this or what? What the fuck? Yeah, these buttons don't even work. There must be a hardware issue when I check cables and stuff. Oh, fuck, do I get this? How the fuck you open this with a touch screen? I have no fucking clue. Fucking hate touch screens. I don't know what the fuck I'm opening here. Ah, okay, I just highlight and hit enter. Yeah, it's not connected to the internet, so do we? Have, ah, we have Wi-Fi too. That's pretty cool. Let's connect to Pornhub. Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to hit enter there. Oh, what the fuck I'm doing? I just pretend I do. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, we're connecting. All right. All right. So we are connected to the internet. Connected to Pornhub, and let's go next. Time zone would be no. Nope. Uh, Detroit, no, nope, not Denver. Fuck, I hate touching. I need to find a fucking mouse here. Detroit. Next. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll just erase disk. Okay, so we'll put her name in here. The keyboard, ah, uh, fucking caps lock. Keyboard works. My typing don't. All right. Password. Uh, I don't know, I'll just put one, two, three for now and she can change it later. Logging automatically. Uh, free officer. No, we're not doing any of those. So we want, yeah, no office suite. And let's install. Yes. All right, we'll go through the install. We'll come back when when it's all finished. So there we go. We've got Manjaro installed on here. We don't need to see this at launch. I have touch screens are hard enough, but I'm looking at it sideways, so that it makes it even more difficult. Um, all right, touch screen still doesn't work. Uh, let's see. Oh, so our volume buttons work. That's cool. All right. 
Let's connect again to Pornhub. So it's nice to see, I mean, Wi-Fi works. And there we go. Connected to Pornhub. All right. Just got to go find all, open office and uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, first thing I want to do before I try and dick with anything on here, I want to figure out what's up with this touchpad because this thing still doesn't work. So I'm going to take it apart. And uh, I also want to repaste this CPU. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but this thing is like, this thing is screaming right now. I mean, it's a lot of work for a uh, Turion. Windows 10 would have been even more. But anyways, I'm going to go through. I'm going to get this disassembled. And, uh, and then we get we get the uh, touchpad looked at and get that CPU repasted. All right, let's take a look at that. You can see there's like no thermal paste on it. it. Looks like somebody scraped it off with something sharp and never reapplied any. So that's kind of odd. So let's go ahead and fix that up. All right, it's nice and clean except for them scratches on it. So no wonder this thing was screaming for mercy. Alright, so we'll break out the uh, trusty Protonics or what the fuck is it? Pro Protronics again. And we'll put a nice little goop on there. I clean myself up quick because that shit, that man, I end up looking like the fucking Tin Man after using that for a little bit. Alright, thermal pads look good, nice and sticky. So I'm gonna have to worry about those. I just noticed. Alright, I just noticed there's a bunch of dust on this fan. Alright, so I'll get that cleaned off here really quick. Alright, she's not perfect, but better than it was. These fans are hard to get into, and I can't use my compressor out in the garage right now because the damn thing is frozen. It, it doesn't like running when it's this cold out. And when it's made frozen, I mean, it, it turns on. It just makes a bunch of noise. Uh, you can tell it's protesting, and all my air hoses are just stiff as can be. And that's a royal pain in the ass. All right. So we can reinstall our motherboard. Uh, getting it out is only half the battle. Terrible thing is that that fan is nice and quiet now because I think I forgot to plug it in. So after I get this going, I'm going to have to take it all apart. And plug it in. I may have to do it before this even finishes because I don't want that to get too hot and shut down. I'm going to uh, get that fan plugged in because I don't want to take the chance on this thing. So I'll come back as soon as I get that done. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, and there we go. Guilty. All right, that solves that. Let's get her back together. All right, now that we can all agree I'm a fucking idiot, uh, we can move past it. And let's go ahead and uh, get this open office finally installed on here. Yeah, I finally got it all back together, and the CPU fan is plugged in. 
and I just need to get open office installed here. Uh, I'm going to switch to the capture card for this, which uh, took me a while to figure out how to capture a different resolution. But other than a few glitches here and there, I think I mostly figured it out. Uh, I just got a capture card, so I'm still trying to, to figure out all the kinks and shit. Not, it's not really up my alley, uh, but I'll get it. Um, I'm recording this voiceover a day after she got the laptop back, so I already know she was really happy with it now. And apparently the touchpad and the screen rotation has never worked on it for her, as long as she's owned it. So that wasn't really a concern for her. And I, personally, I'm just impressed at the way everything just worked right out of the box. I mean, I didn't have to fiddle around with anything to get the touch screen or the Wi-Fi or even the volume buttons working. I mean, like I said, it just worked right out of the box. I know that's always a concern for everyone regarding Linux. But it seems these days most things are pretty well supported all right, Open Office is now installed, so I decided to do a little customization too. Um, I know personally I'm not into this background and flat icon, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of pop. All right, I guess uh, I haven't really mentioned the specs of this unit yet, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, this is the HP TouchSmart uh, TX2-1274DX and the DX designation just means it was a Best Buy model and had an original MSRP of just over a thousand dollars back in 2010. Um, it's a convertible laptop slash tablet with a 12.1 inch uh, touchscreen display and it was configured with a AMD Turion 64x2 mobile processor at 2.2 gigahertz, uh, 4 gigs of DDR2 and I think this originally had a 500 gigabyte hard drive Although I just removed a 250 gigabyte hard drive from this one. It was obviously replaced at one point. And I don't know if you guys recall, but those 500 gigabyte, two and a half inch hard drives, they used to fail like crazy. So that's probably what happened with this one. Uh, it also came with a DVD, CD burner, light scribe drive, Wi-Fi, and even had a media remote for Windows uh, Vista 64-bit. Uh, graphics were handled by an onboard Radeon HD 3200 with uh, 64 megabytes of dedicated VRAM and the ability to share, I think it was up to two gigs of... Uh, your, of your system RAM. So it was probably a pretty productive machine back in its day, and apparently it's still going to be productive. I mean, she's going to be using open office on it for the projects that she's working on. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this one here, and uh, we'll be on to the next. Uh, I have no idea what the next one's going to be, but we'll know when we get there. So I'll see you guys on the next one.